friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to a flip through. We are a little bit behind and uh, I thought I would try and catch up. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't flipped it. Um, but, you know, obviously, I, I don't know why. Okay, let's let's flip our way through August. I think I'll probably have to break it up in parts uh, one and two as I normally do. We'll see. We'll see. So, okay, this is my August um, Creative Daily Journal, Fobonichi journal what you want junk journal handmade journal whatever we're going to call it this is um this is mine for the month of august we did make it together well i made it on camera for you guys um and it's just made out of scrapbook paper this is how i make most of my journals when i hand make them i take a 12 by 12 piece of paper um cut it in two i have been expanding the spine because as you can see it needs it and then adding um a binding now this binding, if you did not watch that, it is down on a playlist for you, but um, I, I screwed it up. So when I went to put the eyelets in for my holes, you can see right here, I missed, I mismeasured completely. Like they're not, anyway, so I had to throw out that option, but I did still put the eyelets in because I didn't want holes in my paper. And then I decided to add some fun ribbon. So I went back and re-punched the holes. The string behind here is the actual three um, hole punch binding. And then I added like this kind of fun ribbon that I thought went with the colors. Now my colors for August are always um, like summer blue and orange and gold and just uh, delightful, right? Um, even though, uh, that wasn't necessarily, let's see, I have a little bit of a shot. Well, quite a bit of a shadow. Let's see if that helps. Uh, because it's, you know, the end of October. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me as I take a sip of tea. Uh, I don't have a lot of light in my room. So the light we have is definitely the, so I do see that I have shadows on here. Well, let me know your thoughts. I don't, I don't have a better option right now, but anyway, uh, let's see. I have one more lamp I could turn on. I don't know if that'll make a difference either. Let's see. We'll try that one also. Okay. Anyway, so uh, this is a security envelope and some letters and like a piece of, you know, ephemera off a card or something that I just love. So anyway, okay, here we go. I just want to make sure I have you in frame and then I can then I cannot move it. How about that? Okay, here we go. This piece of paper is from that um, haul that I made from a Goodwill months ago. It was a giant stack. And um, I have promised myself like I'm going to use at least one piece in every month or out of projects, whatever it is, I, I dig through that bucket first because I want to get through it. It was like totally random stuff. Some of it I'm really going to struggle using. So anyway, uh, August, some magazine stuff and whatever. Okay. Here's the calendar for the month. Um, I love it. I love it. Uh, I will also tell you it is a little bit difficult for me. And so I'm going to keep trying it because I like the outcome. I don't like it as much as I like other people's when I look at theirs, but that's okay. I'm still learning and trying and, um, and trying new things. So uh, I will incorporate that into or continue to incorporate it. I have for September and for October. So that is August. It's just random stickers that I've tried to use up that somehow represent something that happened that day, right? And like, I'm not journaling on there, or it's just one or two little things about each day. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first, gosh, this was just so long ago, you guys. This is, okay, if I'm going to be honest, um, it's, I actually don't mind doing a flip through this late. Um, and here's why. Um, this seems like forever ago, and I may have forgotten some of the nuances of this, right? So um, I'm, I'm happy to look back over this and kind of remember it. And this is why we journal. Okay, so um, the first of August was move-in day for my Rue. She had already been there. She drove herself out to Montana and um, we hadn't seen her in a couple of weeks while she was uh, training. And so this was move in day. So we drove out um, this day, the day before, which is in my um, July journal. And then this or, you know, whatever, this was move in day. So there's some pictures of move into the dorms. And here's a thing from the coffee, um, coffee place we went. And then in here, I tucked a journaling card with, um, you know, some 
more private journaling or whatnot, but so there's journaling in there. And then I put a little shot over here of my son and his girlfriend. They took our camper van for the maiden voyage. Um, my husband is rehabbing and redoing a van because um, he's amazing. But anyway, they took it for the maiden voyage this weekend, about three hours away to the beach. And then they had a great time. But um, this was a picture they sent me. I'm like, you guys are like Instagram adorable. Like it's so stinking cute. So anyway, uh, okay. The second was, um, <laughs> see, see things like this. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why I procrastinate often and I did not fill out my ballot until like we were leaving and we were leaving at like two in the morning, three in the morning, whatever it was. And I did not want to make my husband like drive through the drop off ballot place on our way out of town. Like I just felt like that's something my son can do. So I put this in here, um, you know, as a reminder that I left my ballot with him and, um, <laughs> he says he thinks he got it in the right box. I'm like, what? Like, oh God. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. So this is my Rue. She got, uh, she got her first bag of like uniform practice stuff. So she was trying it all on that day. This is just a picture. Uh, elephants are very, very symbolic to me and their protective nature and whatnot. And this is just like symbolic of me and my Rue. Um, and I just put, this is the beginning of anything you want, like a fun little quote. And I put, there's no way to document the emotions attached today. So, um, yeah. Oh, I just was reading. Sorry. Okay. So, cause this was the day we actually had to say goodbye. And so I put a phone there. Um, we had a long, cause it's seven hours. So, right. We got to plan what we're doing on the way home. So we had a beautiful, we made lots of phone calls is what we did. So we made lots to update the family and all that kind of stuff. So we had a good call with my parents and whatnot. So, um, this is saying goodbye. God, we look exhausted. Oh, I just look at these pictures. I'm like, holy cow. Um, I don't know if my parents, Ever felt though I feel like my parents were way more put together all the time than we are as parents. <laughs> like we just look exhausted. But anyway, um, all over campus they have these really cool stenciled um, paw prints everywhere. It's really neat, um, and they all have different quotes in it. So I just this is the one outside of her dorm, and I just it's all good. It's very cool. So I just put um, we left the girl this morning ready to go took care of um, financial aids. Not uh, anyway financial stuff. Um, blah 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 hit the road. Um, Eric was, my husband was just the sweetest person to me on the way home. He knew I was an emotional wreck. And so he stopped it like, and we don't ever stop. Like I barely get one pee break normally, but, um, he stopped and we shopped and just had coffees or, um, huckleberry shakes and like all the touristy stuff because he just knew I was kind of needing that, like, right, like a slower transition. And then this was this amazing picture at the store, this painting. And I, I took the picture and the artist is right there and I can't, anyway, they had this huge aquarium of, um, all these, um, trout and other fish and you could climb up in it. So that's me inside of it. So, um, yeah, look at this day. Look at this day. Uh, I have a very light thing here. It says workout and run. I don't, I, this is the way this is going into history. Um, obviously I'm exhausted after this day and I know Wednesdays is full tilt for me. Um, I, I can't even imagine. I mean, I know this was a full day at work, so I, that's the way it is folks. I'm not going back. It is what it is. Um, I mean, I put this in there at the time. I don't necessarily pre-decorate except for my um, numbers. So like I obviously had a good cup of coffee that morning and felt like I was okay like this morning because I put a good morning thing in there. I don't know. See? So Wednesday, Thursday were like completely jam-packed, um, I know. And I put this in there because of work. So crazy work days. I know that just by knowing my schedule. Um, yeah, it was apparently sunny that day. That's the way it is. All right. And it was super crazy because we were leaving again. So we, short week, right? Two days in the office, everything was smushed in. I think I worked like 12 hour days. It was nuts. So anyway, um, okay. So this day we drove up to Seattle. My husband had a beautiful gift card, um, gift weekend from his work at the Four Seasons. And, um, yeah, crazy. Um, 
yeah. So I got my lashes done before um, we went and um, my my guy was leaving for like two months. And so we had to like schedule with another person there and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is a picture um, up in Seattle, obviously. This is uh, in our room, there were handmade blah, blah, blahs, you know, from the pastry chef. And then I just took the, um, I just took the envelope from our room thing and put my journaling all in here on this card. Okay. So this was like, um, I don't know, a ticket for something we were waiting on. This is our car ticket. This is, I don't know, whatever. We, we had a ticket to wait for something and we were number 97 and I just kept it because that's the year we were married. So I thought that was cute. So anyway, all the journaling's in here on this very nice card. Um, oh, see, I even put a sticky over it because yeah, just for privacy or whatever. So anyway, that's our room key. Shh, don't tell. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was fun. So that was Friday, Saturday. Um, we hung out. Um, we went to the spa and had couples massages. I put um, a journal card in here with journaling on the back. We had an amazing dinner um, and had like raw oysters and just deliciousness and got, you know, showered and dressed <laughs> for dinner. And then, um, and then we changed and put back on like casual clothes and went out on the town and walked around and stuff, not clubbing, just walking around. And we got a really good ice cream. We went to this place called Shug's Soda Fountain. And because it's a landmark and we'd never been there and we were right there because we're not moving the car. We're only walking. Right. Um, we waited God knows how long for this ice cream. And yes, it was good, but I was just cracking up. So, um, this is the napkin from, or, um, this is a hand towel from the bathroom at the restaurant. And you guys, I, I made this page with you. I'm pretty sure this is like, um, as it's like a heavy duty dryer sheet. It's so thick. Like it's like soft and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it anyway. All right. The next day was Sunday. We, um, had breakfast at the hotel, a nice little healthy, whatever eggs and whatever. And then went down mm, to the market to, I wanted to grab some flowers. They have amazing flowers there. And so, uh, my husband took this picture in front of the hotel sign for me. They were gorgeous and like completely affordable. So we always buy flowers when we go up to Seattle. I mean, if we can go to there, not anyway. Um, oh my gosh, my Rue. She passed her test today at soccer, which is um, every player has to pa pass it to play and she can't play and she's not cleared physically to play yet, but she passed the test, which is super cool because it like boosted her, you know, emotions because <laughs> not all the girls passed. Right. And so for her to be able to pass it, it's a time test, obviously, um, on beeps. Anyway, so yeah, she was super stoked about that. She called, um, we had a beautiful breakfast. Yeah. Downtown, uh, grateful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I saw the bill. So when we checked out, um, oh my gosh, I saw the bill and I put, no, we didn't pay it, but still, oh my gosh. I put, I'm so blessed to have this opportunity. I almost passed out. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I've never, anyway, that's not how we normally travel. So, um, when I got home, there was a prime thing with two new workbooks from work. And then here is, oh, I lied. So this isn't the room key. Uh, this is our credit card uh, for the weekend thing. Um, and then this, this is our room key. So, <laughs> all right. The eighth is Monday. I just put, um, you know, some quotes on here. If I don't have anything, I try and fill it with some sort of ephemera or, you know, a clip something. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. I'm putting, I feel really gross after last week with food uh, and minimal workouts. I'm still finishing watching the CrossFit games. And as always, I'm so inspired. I'm really wanting to get some big fitness goals. Um, and I put, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> because, oh God, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm coming to the awareness. This is not super glued in, is it? Um, I'm coming to the awareness that my body will never be the way Obviously it used to be, that's just age, but, um, unless I'm going to have surgery on my shoulder, I'm not too sure I'm ever going to be able to do some of the things I want to do. And so, um, that will not be happening. I can tell you that unless it's absolutely necessary. I have, um, 
there's no way I'm having shoulder surgery just so I can work out better. Like that's not going to happen. So anyway, um, I put this picture of Olivia Newton-John. She passed away today. And I know this is, I know like Sandra D is her character. Um, and Olivia Newton-John is the real person. Yes, I know that, but I just, that's how I remember her. That is like my favorite movie growing up as a girl. I saw it. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating probably 200 times. Like I'm not exaggerating. And I I don't know why, I don't know why my parents let me watch that movie when I was that age for that many times. (laughs) Well, I do know, uh, because I had no idea some of the other, um, lyrics one and two kind of like, you know, messages, but anyway, um, love, 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 love that uh, movie. So, um, so February and June had a prompt challenge this week. I think I did two of them, but anyway, I tried. So for today for, it was like, what was your breakfast? And I put oatmeal. I know boring. It's, it's either an oatmeal or smoothie or eggs and spinach every day for the most part, like 90% of the time in my life. So it's, it's boring. Most of the time it's oatmeal. All right. Uh, Tuesday I put, uh, the boy called and I just put congrats. He shared that he was elected as team captain. Um, February and June prompt. I don't know what was the moon. I don't know what it was. I I mean, I don't know what the prompt was that would have helped. I put waxing gibbons 91% and that I don't. Yeah, it would have been helpful. You saw me make this page. Um, not a lot to write. So I took my Starbucks thing and then just added some journaling this way. And I put today was a typical Tuesday, but not, um, what I put sauteed. No, maybe I should do this. Oh, started with a blood draw and ended with a pregnancy test. What the hell? (laughs) Oh, that's right. So, um, that's right. So I went to have my blood drawn this day for my, my, my doctor. Right. And they, um, she was like, well, we need to do a pregnancy test. I told this story when I made this page anyway. Um, Oh God, crazy. And, um, Oh yeah. So then I went to Starbucks for breakfast. I put not a healthy breakfast anyway. And then, um, a long day at work. We had in-person supervision, which was amazing because we have not had that since, you know what, and, um, oh, I'm over it. So, so glad to be back in the office with everybody. And then, um, and then we had family dinner, which was cool. But anyway, yeah, I had to have a pregnancy test. And I was like, literally looking at this poor little thing who was taking my blood. Cause I know I can come across as kind of like, um, abrasive or whatever with people. Um, and I'm just like, I, I don't need a pregnancy test. And she's like, well, it says here on the sheet that your doctor ordered it. And I'm like, I, I, if I, (laughs) if I'm pregnant, we have, we have some serious conversations to, uh, to talk about with some people because (laughs) we've paid a lot of money, um, for that not to happen. We've had a couple medical, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no physical way, but if you need to draw that and run that test, if you need me to do this for you, I'm happy to do it because the poor little thing. She didn't know it's not her job, but anyway, so I'm like, I'm going to, could you please make a note in the chart? And then I'm going to talk to my doctor the next time I go in. So I was just cracking up. I was, I tried really, really hard not to be like cranky with her, but I was like, this is stupid. And my other big thought on it, honestly, is like who pays for that? Someone pays for it, even though like, I know I pay a percentage through my insurance, but like, it's a test that they run and like, it's not needed. And so why are we ordering things that aren't needed? But I did say to her, I, I may not understand completely what my doctor needs or wants. Maybe a pregnancy test is called a pregnancy test, but it also screens for some other things. And so if that's what my doctor ordered, then I will be happy to give it to you. But will you please make a note in my chart? And then I will also talk to my doctor about it. And she was like, okay, so (laughs) anyway, oh Lord. Okay. Today it obviously rained. Um, what is today? Wednesday. Oh, I sp- spent the morning journaling and then headed to work um, full day online, which are not my favorite. So a uh, song in my head. Oh, February. Okay. So yeah. Um, prompt today was <laughs> song in my head. Now, ironically, when I made this page, I had one, but then I, when I went back to actually journal it, I put, who knows it changes all the time. I, it's literally based on the last thing I listened to because that just sticks with me. Um, this was a little note um, about someone I was watching online and they had some grief and I just put a little note there with blessings there. Uh, Wednesday the 10th. Um, oh, I remember this day. Yeah. So, um, 
I went with my boy after um, work and we went shopping actually, but we had to stop by um, Orange Theory to close out his account. I'm just, I just put, I'm so pissed at them. And of course it's my fault, but shady practices and so sad. So anyway, that was a long story. It was like, whatever. Um, like basically I've been getting billed every month for however long and I didn't know it. Um, because I don't check my credit um, thing because it's just an automatic renewal thing or whatever. And it's whatever. And, um, I'm just so pissed. And it was on hold forever during, you know what? And they are so good about their communication, like even through Instagram and messaging. And they're just like, personally, like, Hey, Allison, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Oh no, you know, please hold for three more months, whatever. Um, this time it was nothing. And it just automatically rolled into restarting when they officially opened, because before that they weren't officially open to full whatever. Oh, I'm so mad. So I've literally still been fighting with them and I'm getting a refund, but I'm, I was so pissed. I'm like, Oh, and by the way, my son's closing his account because he's away at college and I don't want the same thing to happen. Like they want it to be remaining on hold so he can just open it when he comes home, like for summer or whatever. I'm like, that's not happening. Like I'm not leaving his account on hold. If this is the type of thing I was, I'm so angry, but anyway, I'm sure you needed to hear all that. Uh, yeah. So I took the boys shopping tonight, a tradition before school starts. We got a pretzel and hit the stores. I always love seeing his taste and what he enjoys. Got almost everything he needs, um, and dropped a pretty penny. Yeah. My boy has good taste in clothes and, um, yeah. And this is the pretzel that we always get. Cool. Um, number for the day. I really like that and used it as a um, pocket. All right. The 11th was media day shots. I meant to put some more in here. Uh, Rue, they had obviously what it says, media day shots. Um, not a lot going on here. So, um, I just put a little tiny journal card here. Long day at work. Um, my husband had a good day. Um, I hit the gym. It always feels good. Um, and the boy went to Seattle or stayed up in Seattle for the evening because he was working up there at the time and had a um, friend who, um, you know, lived up there and so um, stayed up for the evening. So yeah, ba super basic page, like really no journaling. It could have easily fit on one, but I tend to do, you know, the double layout. All right. Friday the 12th is... Um, yeah, I don't even know. Miss you. Let's see. Let's see. Um, just put, it's okay. Eric brought home pizza. Oh, and a yummy salad from work. That's right. They ordered that at work. And so he brought it home. It was so good. Like from an Italian restaurant, that really good salad that they have. It's like, oh, um, let's see. Uh, long talk with Rue, um, getting school money and business stuff done. Um, oh yeah. She and her boyfriend broke up and I wish I was there. She's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, every story has an end in life and every end is just a new beginning. So that was the tea bag that I kind of drew on there. And I just put a tag that says, miss you. I spent the day crafting and working on the house. And then I went to return things and grab, um, B day stuff. Oh, I forget we're in August. I'm trying to think like, what am I doing? Because yeah, um, February and June's prompt. Oh, my scents right now. Oh, this was a fun one. So my scents right now are like the beach coconut and Santon lotion everywhere. Candles, soap, lotion. My entire house during summer is all summer smells. Okay. Um, they needed to shift coverage tonight. Oh yeah. So they asked me to come in and, um, work at night. And I, I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Okay. This is the 13th. This is my son's birthday. And he was, um, yeah, a little sad because he's 21. And one, most of his friends aren't 21. And two, all his friends have left for college already. And so um, anyway, so we got the honor of hanging out with him for his 21st birthday. And he like, um, I don't know, just wasn't... Um, he was a good sport. I know it's not the cool thing to do on your 21st birthday, but we went bar hopping with him and um, took him to all the pubs in town. And it was really great. It was such a great day for us. Um, well, unlike any other um, pub crawl I've done um, or designated driver day, today was the best. We got the whole day with the boy and escorted him around town for his first legal drinks. Um, and then I put the places we went um, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven or eight places. We had some samplers, so I put that in there. It was just really fun. It was a really fun day, um, and it ended really well. It was just, oh, I'm so blessed. Um, don't you worry. He went out and party with his friends to celebrate his 21st like the, on the weekend. So um, my daughter sent us this picture of her and her teammate and her friend. Uh, she had a great day. They had soccer. And then she went to her first rodeo. And I, I said, I'm so glad that she's adjusting and having a good time. So yeah, loving that page. All right. So today was the day my boy hit the road and went out to uh, Wazoo. And um, he went out, his girlfriend goes there and her, his girlfriend's brother also goes there. His girlfriend had to go out early, um, which is why she was gone. The brother was still here. And so he drove out with um, the brother. And um, anyway, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is hilarious. Okay. We are trying still to make friends like, and it's just so hard anyway. Okay. So I joined this group on Facebook of these people here in town and, um, they have a picnic. And so, uh, <laughs> so I talked my husband into going, you guys, we pack a picnic basket. We drive to the place. <laughs> it was the wrong day. It was the wrong day. It's next week. And I'm a ding dong, ding dong. So, <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh. So we went home. I put, I just love this man. So granted it's Sunday, you guys, it's Sunday football. He doesn't want to go to the stupid picnic in the park. It is what it is. So we go home, watch football, do whatever. And then later change. We went for a beautiful walk down by the beach. Um, so we headed home, we watched football and I crafted and I did three loads of laundry and then we went for... <laughs> I was obviously eating pretzels and then here's all the laundry. Oh, you guys, I am a ding dong. Oh, hilarious. Okay. All right. This is Monday. I did go to give blood after work. Um, I spent the day. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I did not work. Spent the day prepping, journaling um, with my intentions and planning. I watched Wander. Um, I did not need to watch that. And then uh, over here, I have lots of ideas about planning and hopes and I don't know, like, ugh all sorts of stuff. And, um, I made it to the three thirty class just as it started. Oh, at the gym. Um, and then I had to go to my four thirty appointment to give blood. So I had to leave class a little bit early, right. To make it. I literally waited almost two hours. I was so mad you guys for a four thirty appointment. Now, mind you, if you get there like more than 10 minutes after your appointment, they won't take you, but I had to wait two hours. I was, I was, so angry. Um, and then he missed, then he missed my vein. Oh my God. I, you guys, I give blood frequently and I have for my entire life. It is just what I believe in. Um, I was, I was so upset <laughs> anyway. Um, and then I went and had, oh, and then after that I went and had a dinner and talk with um, Rue's boyfriend that she had just broken up with. It was good to see him and help. Um, he had asked to talk. And so we had a beautiful dinner together and spent literally a couple hours together talking and, um, trying to kind of get him through that. So anyway, that is halfway through the month of August, <laughs> 2022. And, um, yeah, I'm so glad we document. This is exactly why, because I can remember not only did I give blood this day, but the details of like, oh my gosh, I was so frustrated. And then having a great dinner and whatnot. Um, my husband declined and I think came home and watched football. I should probably put that note here. But anyway, um, so that is halfway through the month. I will leave it there. I appreciate you guys watching so very much. I hope you're documenting. I hope you're keeping track of memory somehow, because this is... Um, you know, this is the beauty of it is to kind of look back and actually remember the details of the days. All right. Thanks for watching you guys. And I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.